Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Consultant. And what I'd like to do in this video is to give you all a brief overview of my Apple 2021 financial report. So the way the video is gonna play out is first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. Um, from that point, we'll then dive into my Apple 2021 financial report. I'll show you all the three different sections and show you all the content, what to expect if you do purchase my financial report or my beginner's guide. And and at the end of the video, if you are interested in purchasing my beginner's guide or the financial report, I'll give you all a link to do so. All right, so with that foundation set, let's go ahead and zip through this little PowerPoint presentation. All right, so as promised a little bit about me, Paul Broski, MBA, doctoral candidate, and I am also the author of the Apple 2021 financial report. I also do write several reports, about 20 to 25 reports. Been doing that for the last five years on various companies that are multinational organizations. So if you're interested to see if I have a report that might interest you, visit my site here. I also have the book published on Amazon.com, Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios. So if you're interested in some general understandings of financial statements and ratios, check out my book there. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in finance. So I do have a little bit of academics backing up my thoughts and ideas in my analysis for the reports. All right, so in Apple's 2021 financial report, I do have two different port reports, a beginner's guide and a financial analysis. So everything that's in the beginner's guide is also in the Apple Incorporated 2021 financial analysis. And I do provide some analysis in the various ratios. Also, it's a lot of the item, line items for the income statement and the balance sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and set your expectations of what you should expect in my reports. So in both my reports, I do summarize the Apple's income statement, which is right here. I also provide you all with a, a line by line, for the most part, line by night line analysis for the income statement and the balance sheet. For example, I'll discuss revenues. I'll define revenues, what it is. I'll give you an idea of, in other words, you will know, give you a different perspective of it. And then I'll give you some analysis tips to look for when analyzing that specific line item. In the financial reports, what differentiates my report from the beginner's guide is that then I also provide you all with a analysis. I'll identify a couple of trends, one or two trends for Apple, and then I'll give it an analysis grade. And then I'll also include a breakdown of the revenues and I'll compare it to a different metrics to again, give you all a different perspective of each line item. Well, most of the line items for the most part. Next, I do the same game, play the same game for Apple's balance sheet. I summarize it for the last five years, and then I'll go for the most part, line by line, I'll identify the line item, for example, cash. I'll give you to it in other words to give you a different perspective, give you an analysis tip. And then what I'll do in the report, financial report, this part is in, included in the report, but not the beginner's guide. I'll give you a financial analysis, my thoughts and ideas of that particular line item. I'll give it a grade. And then I'll compare it to a couple different metrics, for example, cash compared to the percent of sales, percent of total assets as well. The final section for my Apple report and beginner's guide is the financial ratio. So I calculate these various ratios right here, break them into categories, liquidity ratio, asset ratio, profitability ratio, and then debt ratio. For each category, I'll go ahead and give you the calculations, current ratio, for example, current assets divided by current liabilities. Then I'll go ahead and give you Apple's uh, um, ratios for the last five years. Another example, current ratio. And here's Apple's current ratios for the last five years. And then further, what I'll do for each ratio, for the most part, I'll go ahead and I'll identify what the ratio is. For example, current ratio. I'll give you the formula. I'll give it to you, in other words, an additional perspective. I'll give you some analysis tips when you're analyzing the current ratio, and then I'll go ahead and give you the calculations used to, cal um, to calculate the current ratio, current assets divided by current li liabilities for the last five years, and then the current ratio for the last five years. All right, and then it was included in my financial report that's not in my beginner's guide as I do give you a brief analysis of what's going on with the current, with each, which most of the financial ratio trends, and then I'll give you an analysis grade as well. Some of my analysis might be short and sweet and others might be a little bit more in depth. 
All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. So if y'all are interested in purchasing my Apple 2021 financial analysis guide, then just visit my website, qualitybusinessconsultant.com forward slash Apple financial analysis. And the ability to purchase the PDF is on that link. And you are also able to download the purchase once made. All right, hopefully this information is helpful. And as always, um, have, be safe and have a good one.